this is the min wow min wow yeah that's a little minnow for now i plan to have larger size but to start i'm starting with a 275 inch long why such a small prey well in salt water there's a number of times where predators are looking for very tiny prey problem is with regular soft plastic when you go very tiny the regular soft plastic are very fragile and basically if you have a such a small bait I mean, you will need to change the bait like every fish or every two or three fish, so non-stop, non-stop. And, and they also the regular plastic might not allow for a number of, of use, like for example, a very heavy jig, yeah, that's a three quarter ounce on a very tiny lure. So the material I'm using, well, obviously that's part of hyperelastic brand, so it's soft stuff. Very long lasting. Uh, there's already holes and slots in, into the lure. You know, you can see here. So, you know, um, there's holes going through all in the nose, so you can position all kind of hook, you know. That's why they're coming with this guy, rig like this. So two, two, bow, two baits in the bag, one weighted white gap hook. Then we have also this with this uh, jig head, the jig head and the lure have the patent. You see the holes underneath. So I have a specific patent to, to increase the holding power and easiness of putting in place the soft plastic on the hook. And we can use different jig heads. Like for example, that's an ocean born uh, swimming um, jig head that you can put that tiny bait on. So now you can cast far away and you benefit of the rolling action and the water lift that that head has. So in that case, I have three quarter of of an ounce and I can fish in one feet of water. So think about casting such a very tiny bait when the reds are very far away on the flats. Now you can reach them with enough weight and without dragging on the bottom. So, but that, that one you have to put together. This will, will be available as, as this. So let's see the action in the water now. So first I want to start with um, the weighted white gap hook. So that's the weedless one. So if you want to fish in very shallow water, and of course, don't, don't get me wrong at all. I, I mentioned the reds because, well, obviously, uh, that will, uh, the, the, the redfish angler and uh, inshore water angler will be in love with this, you know, trout and snook and baby tarpon and stuff like that. But for bass and number of freshwater fish, freshwater trout in rivers, for example, is a great example. So with the amount of weight I'm able to, to cut to this lure, because this material have a very, 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 uh, high nervosity so it have a lot of action and also the body is buoyant so thanks to that i'm able to put more weight to fish at the swim you see the little bait fish <laughs> they came to school together so this is the meanwhile on a jig head i have my patent here that's a grip between the jig head and uh, the design inside the, of the lure that helps for better positioning easy positioning and really really good holding power so now with that jig head, then I can simply cast and retrieve, of course. I can also jig it, you know, up it down, so it have action all the time. So, so when the fish are targeting tiny prey, you can rely on, on this bait, you see. That's why I show that uh, jig head I designed as well, that's part of the ocean brand. Oceanborn brand, it's called the swimming jig head and what you can see is that jig head have those wings on the side with a big angle so that gives a lot of lift on the water so it raises the bait at a certain speed so now you can have something that's quite heavy it gives lift on the water, it gives a roll on the body also and it, at the right speed it fish pretty shallow so now can make a very good very long cast like i will never be able to do if i have a quarter ounce so I, here you go here's my My first fish hooked on my new boat, by the way. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I think it's a snook. Try to go in the mangrove. It's a nice snook. Yeah, it is a snook. Yeah, meanwhile. Careful. Yeah, right. You see? So 
So I was explaining that with the Minrao, thanks to the hyperelastic material, I was able to put basically I was able to put a three quarter of an inch. Oh, <laughs> bye bye. I touch a leader, so it's a JFSA. You win the fish. If I have a net, I was making a joke with Timo. He was making a joke. If I have a net, the fish will be on. But you see, I was able to cast in very shallow water, like a feet, feet and a half, with three quarter, three quarter ounce weight with my little minnow. So you want to fish shallow, you want to cast very far, use a very efficient minnow, put a minnow together with an ocean-born swimming jig head. It works. <laughs>